Hello, my name is Abe, and welcome back to FTL Faster Than Light. On the last run, ignore the continue button there, I was just testing some audio changes and settings, and hopefully it all sounds good, and there's no auto artifacts and anything like that. There might be, and if there is, well, I'll try my best to fix them in the future, but for now I just need to get in here and play a game and make sure that it all works right and get a another data point to look at. But on the last run, we played as the Stealth Cruiser Type A and we unlocked the Stealth Cruiser Type B. And I was thinking maybe I would play as another ship, take a break from the Stealth Cruiser, but I really like the ship. And now that we've unlocked it, let's play at it. So we start with two humans, a Zoltan, second level engines instead of fourth level engines, but the Glaive Beam is the piece de resistance of the ship. It is fantastic. We are going to get this achievement of destroying a ship at full health in a single cloak extremely easily. And the only thing that I want to do before we start is do what I just did and move the Zoltan into the engine room. And the reason for this is because with the Zoltan being in the weapons room, if I ever move him out of the room for some reason, he might depower the glaive beam because he is one unit of power. So by having him in the engine room, I ideally won't have him walk through the weapons room depowering the weapon for some reason if i'm not paying attention it could depower and then all of a sudden i lose the charge this is much better because we can actually just put him in the engine room and he's going to be perfectly fine down there and i can run him up to the uh, med bay if i need to let's jump this ship is very very strong at combat very very strong the biggest problem is that it takes 25 seconds to charge the weapons. And the enemy weapons do not take 25 seconds to charge. The laser and this missile take about 10 seconds to charge. So what we need to do is depower the O2, power up the cloak, get 80% evasion. Uh, the Type A ship has 90% evasion with the cloak because it has four bars of engines. We only have two. Hope that this is gonna be enough. Wow, okay. Um, I guess the game just wants to say no F you, which is okay. You know, I, I don't appreciate it, but you know, to each of their own. Uh, as long as they don't hit my weapons, we can destroy them. Uh, the Glade Beam will do two damage on the shield room, three damage on the engines, weapons, and empty room because the shields will go down. Six, seven, eight, nine. That's enough damage to destroy them in a single shot. Uh, unfortunately, we do need to get the cloak repaired and I think we're just going to have to take the next shots on the chin. 20% evasion hopefully will, you know, let us survive here. Good, 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 good. Okay, so that was very annoying. We are going to have to get everyone in here to get this stuff repaired. I might as well have the pilot and the weapons personnel do it because they have more HP than the Zoltan. He can come in after we get the oxygen fixed and get the repairing done while they get healed up in the med bay. This was an annoying encounter just because we had an 80% dodge chance and both the laser and the missile hit the cloak room. That's that's very unlikely. I guess it's let's see 1 5th times 2, it's a 125 chance of that happening. That yeah, sounds about right. Oh, but whatever. We're alive. We took 5 points of hull damage on the first encounter. That's not very good. Um, but hopefully we'll be better off. The ship is very strong, and as soon as we get shields, we're going to be ridiculously strong. The only thing is we have to live that far. Ah, they have a drone control system. I'm going to cloak and attempt to access the cache. And we did get a heavy laser. That's actually quite good. Heavy laser, just a single one-shot weapon. You know, worst comes to worst, we can use it to drop enemy shields before we fire with the glaive beam, because the glaive beam works against one bar of shields, it works against two bar of shields, it does not work against three bars of shields, and we will eventually have to deal with that situation. Now this also sucks, because the the mini beam fires in it's like 12 seconds, 11 seconds, something like that. The glaive beam takes 15 seconds, or excuse me, 25 seconds to charge. We can cloak for 10 seconds. That means that their mini beam can fire before the glaive beam does, and if it does, and it, they hit our weapons room, our weapon goes down and we can't fire. So this is going to be extremely tricky. Extremely tricky. I think what I'm going to, going to do is cloak out of the ion blast and just hope that their mini beam doesn't do anything. Like, we, there's no way in hell that we can actually fire before their mini beam fires. Uh, their mini beam will fire first. If I had a third bar of cloak, we could fire first, but we can't right now. 
and if they hit the weapons we're yeah if they hit the weapons we don't have the capability of doing anything so this is the worst case scenario that i was talking about it's happened let's deoxygenate the room put out the fire shit the fire uh, spread so i wasn't able to actually put it out I can't use the heavy laser, it's not going to do anything. We just have to get the weapons repaired. We have no dodge chance though, so I might as well send the Zoltan in there to get the, uh, the weapons repaired. And this ship is extremely powerful. The problem is... The problem is you... If you get hit once, you're, you're screwed. If you get hit once, then you don't have any... Any uh, defense against this freaking beam. And, you know, we might just die right here. What I might just do is restart the run, because this is terrible. This is, you know, horrendous. We might survive this encounter if they stop attacking our... If they stop attacking our... Weapons room, but this is the thing that I was, you know, worried about, is they just continuously hit our weapons room. We can't do anything about it. We don't have any shields. I could jump away, but at this point... I want to kill him. I need, I want scrap. I want stuff. Hey, at least they didn't fire on my weapons room, which means that I think we can actually kill these guys. But damn. There we go. Oh, screw you. No way am I going to accept surrender. As soon as we get a hit off, we win. But getting that hit off is extremely difficult so much so that i think what i might do is actually upgrade cloaking the very first thing and there is a very good reason for that the reason is now i can cloak for long enough that the mini beam can't fire i can cloak for 15 seconds that means i only need to charge the weapon for 10 seconds and we will be able to charge the weapon uh, the glaive beam before they fire their mini beam so I think this is the best course of action. It's, I think the only action that we have available to us. I could save a lot more scrap and get shields, but technically, you know, theoretically, we don't need shields. All we need is cloak. With cloak, we can stop their weapons from firing, get the first shot in, do a lot of damage, destroy them in one shot, ideally. So I think that's what we're going to focus on. And I might even get some more power just so I have a little bit more dodge chance. But like a situation like this, heck, I can just, well, I should, I should let him, I should let him beam over first because he's going to beam over regardless. But, you know, we just cloak, you know, when he beams over and then we fire the glaive beam and then that's it. Although what I, what I will do instead is I am going to fire the glaive beam or I'm going to uh, cloak before I fire the glaive beam so that I can maybe get that achievement, but we'll see. We'll see how it ends up working. He's just going to go into the O2 room. That's fine. I can vent this. I'd rather him not break the oxygen. As soon as their laser fires, I cloak. We're fine. And theoretically, we... C oh, it's a good dodge. Theoretically, we just wait here and we win because our weapon will fire before theirs does and we will destroy the ship. We have enough cloak that we can make this work. Maybe get the achievement. We didn't get the achievement, but that's because they uh, they were destroyed first. You know, they 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 blew up after the uh, cloak wore off. So we do need slightly faster weapon charge rate or something to make this work, but. It's extremely easy to do to get this achievement. We can we can make it work. If the enemy has weapons that take longer to charge, we can also do it. So it'll happen. Don't worry about it. Do we have stealth weapons? No, long range scanners. It felt like we had stealth weapons, but it might be something else that I'm just not aware of because it seemed like the cloak didn't reduce at all when the glaive beam fired. It was very strange. In any case, I do think we get one more bar of power. Yeah, we're very low on power, and now I can keep the dodge chance up so that we're we have an 80% dodge chance. I think that's fine. That's good enough anyways. We don't need to go to the store. We don't need any more weapons. We have a, a heavy laser we can use at some point in the future. I don't like the hack, but there's nothing we can do about it. And this is just a similar situation. We, we are not going to get hit here. We're going to be fine, but we're probably not going to be able to destroy them in one hit. And in fact, what I should do is hit them in the weapons room so we take their beam offline although let's let's see maybe we can kill them in one shot this would do two 
four, five, six, seven damage. Yeah, we can't kill them in one shot, so we're just going to hit them in the weapons room, stop them from damaging me, and then we'll damage them, or we'll destroy them with, you know, the nah, heavy laser can't do it. We're going to have to wait for the next glade beam shot. Whatever, doesn't matter. Cloak comes out, glaive beam basically just auto fires, and this will destroy them. It'll take a minute, it'll take a minute. It definitely feels like the glaive beam doesn't reduce the, the cloak. Oh, you know what it is? I bet you, and I don't know why I never noticed this before, I bet you beam weapons don't reduce cloak. Beam weapons um, count as being stealthed, which is kind of strange. You know, why would a projectile weapon not in a beam weapon do that? But, you know, whatever. I'll take it. 16 more scrap. We didn't get hit at all. We have 13 hull points down. It's kind of a lot, but that's kind of expected with this type of ship on the first sector. Uh, this is a fire drone. It's not that bad. I am going to open all doors immediately. Get this stuff vented. We're going to need it. And... As long as I cloak before their beam fires, we're fine. Oh, fuck. Okay, you know what? We have to, we have to vent this. We cannot lose the weapon power. No, oh, we lost the weapon power. This is horrendous. We might just die here, in fact. Because we're just gonna get lit on fire and the beam's gonna fire and, oh God, this sucks. Zoltan, get in there. We gotta get this stuff repaired. You've gotta go to the med bay, because if you die, I would be really pissed. Fires are starting. Beam landed. Close all doors, except for these doors. We're gonna lose the door the uh, door room, I think. I don't think there's any way to avoid it. Unless, unless we're very lucky. Zoltan's gonna get the weapons online. Oh, no he's not. I don't know what it is about this ship. The enemy loves hitting the weapons room. Maybe it's just the harder difficulty. Enemies can actually just target your rooms better, but I, I think I think we're done. We can't escape. Zoltan needs to get into the med bay. Ugh, almost died. We have no weapons, and we don't have any weapons because we don't have doors, and we don't have doors because door system was destroyed. All right, so this is a this is a, a dead run. We'll have to restart, but that's fine. That's fine. This ship is hard to get off the ground, but when you do get it off the ground, it's really good. Maybe we can pull it out, get the get the doors repaired. Get out of there, get back to the med bay. Everyone's wounded, everyone's dying. Pilot. Pilot, get the doors. Get the doors. Get the doors, you can do it. Nah, he can't do it. All right, he's dead. <laughs> you know what? Let's let it happen. Fire's gonna destroy us in the engine room. This ship, you know, it's extremely powerful, but it's also extremely fragile. One mistake, one enemy hit in the weapons room starting a fire, which seems to happen all the time, and you're screwed. There's really nothing that you can do to, to bring it around. All right, let's try it again. Let's try it again. I will attack this ship. They don't have a drone. They do have a hacking module. Hopefully they don't hack my weapons. Oh, we just, you know, we just won. Okay. That doesn't always happen, but it's nice when it does because you get the sector scans. We can, you know, choose our path accordingly, go into as many combats as possible because we're, we're really strong offensively against combat as long as we can get the first shot in. Okay, heavy laser, single shot, basic laser. I think these both have the same charge time. Not entirely sure, but I, I believe that is so. Close enough. It's close enough that I can cloak out of it. And both shots missed. Lovely. Uh, we're not going to be able to get the achievement because we only have a second level cloak. I think we will need third level cloak for this to work. But we can destroy them before they fire again, at least. Because we only need to wait about, you know, five seconds max for our beam to fire. They've already fired their weapons, and they're going to take another five seconds to charge on top of our weapon firing. We will not accept surrender, just because why not? The fuel's nice, but the missiles are not. I don't have a missile launcher. I need scrap. I need scrap. 
in order to upgrade my ship. 50 means I can get the cloak, and with the cloak, we're protected against beams. So that's extremely, extremely important. More so than the, uh, more so than the, uh, the shields, I do believe. Now we can't cloak immediately, but this, if this is a uh, first level hack, then we will be able to cloak. If it's a second level hack, we probably won't be able to cloak. Oh, dang it. We can cloak. Ooh, boy. I don't mind that the piloting room is on fire. We can go put that out passively. That's okay. We will be able to, to stop the ship from hurting us anymore by, um, by using the glaive beam. It will destroy both of their weapon systems, and we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We are so lucky, so lucky that we were able to cloak right there. All right. Get the oxygen back on the line. I had to take it. I had to take it off just to make sure that we had power everywhere else. That's okay. Make sure you're healed up. They they can't fire again. There's no point in in you know not getting him healed up before he gets in there to repair it. We just gotta wait. We just gotta wait. We'll probably not get enough scrap in order to get the uh, in order to get the cloak upgrade, but we're actually extremely cloak. 47 scrap. Probably boop, distress, distress, down, over, up and around the exit through the nebula. I kind of like that. I could go to one more beacon first before we do that. Let's do that. Let's go to one more beacon here. One more empty beacon. Hopefully it's a good encounter. Demand the surrender of their goods. I will do that. Uh, this sucks because it's a beam drone. The beam drone will wreak havoc on our ship. The most important thing here is don't let it hit the weapon system. If it looks like it's going to shoot at weapons, we cloak. This is not going to shoot at weapons. This might shoot at cloak, but it's fine. It's not going to shoot at cloak. It's probably going to act it's not going to shoot at weapons. It might shoot at cloak. Nope, med bay. Okay, this is when we cloak anyways, so we might as well cloak now. Wait for as long as possible until we start the cloaking process. Get the dodge chance up. Good. Keep the O2 going. Okay. Everyone everyone, hang tight. The beam will get a chance to fire again when we come out of cloak. Hopefully it does not hit the weapon system. This is not going to hit the weapon system. It's the engines. This will kill them as soon as the beam fires. Ours. Good, 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 good. So we took some damage. That's okay. We got 16 scrap. That's enough that I can get the next level of cloak. And now, mini beam weapons won't hurt us. Mini beam drones will still be able to hurt us until we get that first bar of shields, but the mini beam weapons won't be able to now, so that's good. Get the stuff repaired. Everyone go back. Now we will need some more power as well. We're gonna have to depower the engines and the oxygen in order to get the the cloak fully powered but that's okay it's worth it it is worth it that extra five seconds is big i will dock picked up another crew member jones well we don't need power anymore i can put him in the cloaking room and he provides one more bar of power perfect well maybe not perfect but it's pretty pretty dang good i don't want him in the weapons room because again i don't want to have to move him out of the weapons room and then all of a sudden things depower i don't want to put him in the piloting room because he's a bad pilot i mean he's not any worse than our current pilot but he doesn't provide a bonus to the piloting room he does provide a bonus to the cloak room so he'll stay there and now we do not need to depower our engines to get the cloak operational that was a very very good pickup all right they have a charge laser, which takes 6 slash 12 seconds to charge, and a heavy laser, which takes 10 seconds to charge, I do believe. Uh, this is an interesting encounter because they may or may not want to actually fire their charge laser at level 1 charge. Hopefully they don't. Yeah, hopefully they don't. They keep it charged. And if I'm very lucky... I'm just going to cloak. If I'm very lucky, they would fire both weapons at the same time, but it actually doesn't matter because our weapons will destroy them. And in fact, I'm just going to hit them like so. This will do eight damage. They have seven health. This will destroy them. I just want to hit the weapons room first because hitting the weapons room first means we take their weapons offline a little bit quicker, a little bit more quickly. 
Although what we could do is just fire like so, and this would kill them even faster because we would take the shields offline for two, then do three and three. So yeah, let's just shoot them like this, it's fine. Again, now that I've realized this, beams do not take down cloak, so our cloak will last. And as soon as we can get Nellis powered up a little bit more in the weapon skill, we might be able to destroy enemy ships in one go, which would be really nice. Now what do we need to upgrade? I would still like to upgrade the med bay. So I'm going to. I'm going to. Whenever I don't, I always regret it. So let's get that out of the way now. Now we just need to save 125 scrap to buy shields. We will prepare to board and investigate. And we picked up a crew member. You know what? That was the station event where you can lose a crew member if you don't have the med bay upgrade. So I actually do feel really good about getting that upgrade. And now I can have him man the doors. And now it doesn't matter that the Zoltan's not manning the door room because he's in the uh, the cloaking room. Perfect. Didn't realize we also had sensors level two. I should have mentioned that earlier, but I just realized that right now. We will send an away party to investigate. You pick up some free scrap. That's really nice. If I can avoid... If I can get scrap for free, I would like to. If, I don't really like the idea of avoiding combat, though, because we're really strong in combat. He's probably going to walk into the cloaking room. So you know what? I'm just going to send... No, I'm going to vent him. I'm going to vent him. I was thinking I could send... Mara, the door manager, in there to deal with him. No. I'd rather just kind of let things happen. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten health. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This will kill them. Two, two, three, three. That's ten if I didn't miscount, and I don't think I did. So this beam will kill them if it lands, when it lands, more like. And I will be able to cloak out of their laser, and their beam won't be able to hurt me. Good. This is what I wanted. I wanted him to eventually get into the cloaking room, because I didn't want to leave the cloaking room with the Zoltan, because he's my power. I want the power in the room. As soon as he busts down the door, I will send the human over there, and I will micro the human and the Zoltan so that the human is taking the brunt of the Mantis attacks, so the Zoltan doesn't die, Zoltan has less health, weapons are going to fire, they're going to die. They're going to offer me a Mantis, and I kind of want to take it. We're going to need more crew members. I'm going to take it. If this was... Yeah, get off my ship. If this was later in the game, I would definitely probably not. But how much is a Mantis? It's like 60 scrap in the store? 65 scrap? Something like that? What would we get for killing them? 13? 15 scrap? 17 scrap? I feel like getting one more bonus free crew member is actually a really good idea. And he can man the sensors room and when we get a shield room I can put the mantis in there or the zoltan. Zoltan in the shield room is good because it helps prevent ionization damage if you get really low shields. But also, um, you know, if one bar of shields go down it's much less of a problem if one than if one bar of weapons go down because if your weapons go down you lose the charge. Shields come back in about five seconds anyway so it's not that bad. I can make it to the exit in time, and that's really good because I do not want to get caught by the rebels. We would just get murdered. I mean, we might be able to murder them, but we'll get murdered ourselves. Uh, this is actually garbage because we do not have engines, so we're going to have a reduced dodge chance. They have a beam, we can't really dodge it, and they have the super shield, so the glade beam is actually going to have to take two shots to bust down their super shield. So this is actually extremely disappointing. This is going to be a interesting fight, to say the least. Uh, I will try this. Maybe if I'm extremely lucky we can damage their weapons, but probably not. The super shield will take... It will go down. The super shield will go down entirely, but the problem is they're still going to have this, this beam, and it's going to take my weapons offline if they hit the weapon system with it, so this is going to be extremely uh, difficult. Close. Troublesome. Take your pick. 70% dodge chance. We did dodge both shots. Our glaive beam will fire before their beam, their mini beam, but I, I'm still very worried. I'm very, very worried. 
We did do two damage to the O2 system, which means that I, I probably could have aimed the beam to take out their weapons. My bad. Now that I have done this once, I, I'm, I'm going to internalize it that the beam, if it enters a room just as the shields go down, you can do damage to that room. So let's, let's remember that for next time. For now, though, we're just going to have to kill them as quickly as possible, which basically means pray that our weapons stay online. Arr! I have a lot of crew. I have a lot of crew. Let's get stuff repaired as quickly as possible. I don't care about the fire. The room's already been destroyed. Okay. You, you, and you. Well, just you and you. You and you go in there and fix that. No, not you. You. I want the people who are good at repairing to get this stuff repaired ASAP. It doesn't really matter if the Zoltane's not in the in the uh, cloaking room because I can't cloak right now anyways. We'll, we will be fine here, I think. I think we will be able to make it out. Uh, their weapons fired and did not hit my weapons room, so I think, I think we'll be fine. I am going to cloak now, though. It's only a 10 second cloak, but I think that's all we need. I couldn't get it repaired fast enough because I was focusing on getting the fire put out in the door room, but I, th I think we'll be fine here. I think we will be fine here. I gotta keep the Zoltan here to keep it powered. They will die. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That was not too bad. It was it was bad, but it wasn't too bad. Everything's getting repaired and get everybody healed up a little bit. Including the Mantis, including Mara. Oh, the uh, medbay needs to actually be powered. That's why no one's getting healed. Because I removed the Zoltan from the room. That could have that could have gone much worse. But now that I now that I realize that you can hit with the beam through a super shield if the beam would enter a room after the super shield is down. So we're, we will we'll internalize that. We will make that happen next time. I'll do my best. There is nothing here. That's quite interesting. Because this is a nebula, I'm actually going to jump around. Seems strange, but here's my thinking process. The nebula means that all we're going to fight here is a rebel ship with no ASP. One rebel ship we can deal with. We can cloak out of the way of it. The cloak lasts for 15 seconds. It doesn't matter. You know, as long as they don't have a beam drone, which I don't think rebel sh ships that you come across do, we'll be fine. So we can get one more bit of combat here in the nebula, jump back to the exit, and then leave. And we should be fine. We should be fine. Now, this ship is annoying just because they have a, a beam, but we can deal with it. They will board us. Boarding us in this empty room going into the weapons room. So we're going to send Mantis. I'm just going to send Mantis in there to stop them. Just, like, keep him busy for a while. Have him come in. Oh, I'm an absolute idiot. Okay, look. Be I'll, I'll be perfectly honest here. I know I'm an absolute idiot. I am an absolute idiot. I admit it. I did not cloak. I forgot to cloak. I was too busy worrying about this invader. And now my crew are very wounded. And we have no oxygen. So we got to get out of this room now. That's my bad. That's that's my bad, and that's only my bad, and it's no one else's bad. I suck at FTL sometimes. I'll I'll freely admit it. Um, hopefully we can make it out of this okay. Open all the doors. Get everything one back to where they belong. I don't care if you're wounded. Get back to your rooms. We gotta we gotta get these weapons charging faster. Damn it! If I would have just cloaked, we would have saved ourselves some damage. We're gonna get hit by. Yep, these lasers now. I can send the uh, a few of my crew in here to get stuff repaired. We're, we'll be fine. We'll kill them. Did a few extra whole points of damage. <laughs> of course. Of course you would attack my weapons room after I've already killed you. Okay. Alright. Let's do better. Let's do better. That's something that I just... I haven't played FTL in a few days, so it, it more like a week actually. I had a big backlog, but I've, I've just got to be better at it. I got to get back in the mindset of micromanaging, you know, paying attention to what is actually happening aboard your ship, what you need to be aware of. 
Everyone's healed up. We have oxygen. Might as well open the doors for a second. We'll probably be boarded, but I'll close the doors when that happens. If I remember, we will not be boarded, and in fact, this ship is a little scary, but it's actually not too bad. We can probably take out the five-shot laser with our glaive beam. I don't think we'll be able to actually take out the heavy laser, and that's actually kind of, kind of worrisome. But if we're a little bit lucky, we might even be able to jump out of here before they actually fire their laser without our cloak being online. No. We're charging extremely slowly, so probably not. Alright, let's cloak. Glaive Beam is gonna fire on shields, engines, weapons, cloning bay. And the idea is that we do the idea is that we do two damage with the the glaive beam on the weapons room, and that should take down this five shot laser, this uh burst laser mark three that they've got here. Yeah. So they're not dead, but they are wounded. They still have their heavy laser online. It will fire, it will do two damage when it lands. Kind of a little bit worrisome, but as long as it doesn't land in the weapons room. Oh, come on, <laughs> seriously. <sighs> Just get me out of here. FDL, FT, oh my God. Hopefully we don't just die here, you know, we could, hopefully we don't. Get this stuff repaired, you idiots. Might as well... I was gonna say we might as well cloak, but you know, it's fine too. Okay, get everything repaired. Get the uh, engines powered up, we're leaving. It, we only get one feel for killing these guys anyway, so if we don't kill them, whatever. Jump out, I should not have come to the sector. I don't want to go to a nebula, so we're going to go to the rebel control. Oh, yeah, we'll go to the rebel controlled sector. Hopefully there's not a lot of drones. Okay, let's get the med bay online again because that keeps getting destroyed for some reason. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's because we can't actually dodge anything? We might be restarting again here pretty soon. We might die very quickly in this second sector, and really the reason why is just because we don't have shields. We don't have any sort of missile defense. Well, cloak is missile defense, and we haven't gotten hit by many missiles. We don't have laser defense. We don't have the basics of defense. And that's entirely because I spent 35 scrap on upgrading the medbay and 50 on upgrading the, clo the cloak. I think upgrading the cloak is important. I do think that that's your first call, your first upgrade. I don't think you save for this shields first. But I could be wrong. I could definitely be wrong. That's not going to hit the weapon, so we don't cloak out of it. It's the uh, sensors. That's fine. Not going to hit the weapons. Ooh, we got one dodge. Our first dodge. Lovely. 20%. This might hit the weapons, but they fired their laser at the same time. Good. It's actually going to hit the cloak, and that also landed, which is annoying. Okay, our glaive beam will fire before their uh, basic laser fires again. We will destroy them. It's all good. Everything's good. Down to two HP, though. That's extremely worrying. We did pick up a Pegasus missile launcher, which is a good weapon. But uh, unfortunately, we just don't have the scrap to use it. We need to sell it. We need to sell it to buy shields. And I think we're actually dead. I don't think there's any way that we can survive this encounter, which actually is, is severely sucky. Um, their beam, their beam's gonna do get in two shots before we do. Yep, yeah, there we go, right there. All right, well, that's Stealth Cruiser Type B. I've only been recording for 33 minutes and I've already lost twice. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. We can do it. I believe. I believe. Okay, Zoltan, go into the engine room, please. Everyone, save places. Jump. Through the nebula? Uh... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll probably have three or four bars of reactor power. No, let's not go through the nebula. If we if there's a plasma storm, we're kind of screwed. 
because pretty much pretty much more than half of our power is dedicated to weapons. So if we lose half of our power, we might we might not even have enough weapon power to actually get anything online. You know what? We don't need wep we don't need uh, engines. They have only beams. So let's get everyone into the weapons room and see if we can actually survive this. I I, I don't see how. These beams are going to just tear us up. I need to, <laughs> I need to get the cloak repaired now before I cloak because it will last longer, and so that's very important. So let's get that going, and we'll cloak, and there go the weapons again. Wow, first beacon death on the stealth cruiser type B. That's that's actually standard fare for this ship. This ship is is. Very annoying to play with. Uh, this is also the literally the worst case scenario, by the way. Mini beam, when you only have two bars of cloak, means you can't cloak out of it. And a drone means that you can't cloak out of it because it's going to be continuously firing. And it's a beam drone, so we can't dodge it anyways. Okay, get the oxygen healed up a little bit. Might as well cloak. We will destroy the ship, but we lost... 19 hull. Oh. Hey, we got the achievement. I guess it I guess it doesn't matter when you cloak as long as you cloak at some point. All right. Where's the fire? You know what? I'm just going to restart. <laughs> that was that was a comical comical fight that we had there. Let's not even worry about that. That didn't happen. That that was just for the achievement. I knew what I was doing the entire time. I'm an expert. I'm a professional. Why is the clave beam not powered? <laughs> okay. At least the nebula here doesn't have a plasma storm. We can sneak through the nebula, get up to this beacon of combat, and then go over to the exit. So let's do that. The game audio sounds a little bit loud to me, but I think I have it properly set up in OBS that everything's balanced-ish. We'll see. Uh, ignore the request. We have to have a med bay in order to, to do that, or a rockman, or an NG, I think. Maybe I should avoid combat for a while. I mean, we're good at combat, but I need more stuff to be good at combat. I need a third level cloak. I need shields. Alright, we're just going to have everyone get into the med, uh, med bay, basically. Open all doors except for these two rooms. And we just wait. They destroy my piloting system, the assholes. I guess I should have... I guess I should have depowered the... Uh, or, yeah, depowered the O2 system. That would have made it uh, deoxygenate faster. I'm just gonna have to micro my crew a little bit, keep sending them in and out. This is actually a bit tricky. We, I think we will win, but we're kind of just l slowly losing HP on everybody. Oh god. Get out, you just get out of the room, get out of the room. They walked into the med bay, okay, that's perfect, that's, that's what I wanted. Where's the third guy? Third guy's in the sensor's room, so he's not doing anything there. Okay. That was close. That was close. We took one point of damage from the piloting system. Considering we still have zero scrap, that's kind of actually a bad start because, you know, we have, we have zero scrap. Uh, but it could be worse. Could have been worse. I don't like having the med bay in this dead end of the ship because I can't move my crew around any easily. Like, I can't move them through the medbay and have bonus healing out of it. Like, it's it's kind of sucky. You only have two rooms in the medbay, and that's it. You can't get any more healing than that. I mean, I might be able to really, really micro crew around, like, keep moving crew into the third, into the the furthest uh, medbay slot and keep them kind of walking around in a circle, but that would take forever. Forever, I say. I will not accept the bribe. Missiles are fine. Missiles are, are what you normally take damage from, and I don't I don't mind normally taking damage from a missile, so I, this is fine. This is perfect. 
So that's got to be a Leto. It fired extremely quickly. And we will be able to destroy the ship in one shot. Shields first, and the further Glaive Beam shots will do more damage because the shield will go down. And as long as they don't resist the damage, they will be destroyed. They could resist the damage, but if they do, you know, worst comes to worst, we will have taken all of their weapons offline. They can't damage me for a while. And then we just rinse and repeat. Might as well put my O2 system online. And as soon as they get their weapons online, I will be able to cloak again. So it doesn't even matter that they're getting stuff repaired. I can just cloak. And this will kill them. I don't imagine they would uh, resist four damage in a row. They could have, but they didn't. All right, let's continue jumping. Maybe go to some of these empty beacons. Maybe if we get a little bit lucky, we can uh, get some stuff here. Battle recently took place, and the loser seems to have been a civilian ship. A message was left on repeat. Rebels attacking, please send aid. If we perform a scan of the area, we will find the rebel ship, I believe. So let's do that, get into combat. It's a beam, which is frustrating and annoying, but I think we can deal with it. They will board us as well, which is also frustrating and annoying, but I think we can deal with it. Sensors. Uh, we have two bars of sensors, so I think this is fine. We will be able to deal with him momentarily. Okay, we have to cloak out of this basic laser. We still got hit from it, so, you know, whatever. Okay, sensors are wounded, but they're still online. Come on, fire the glade beam, fire the glade beam! Don't hit my weapons. Oh, God! Oh, fuck. Oh, God damn it. We have to kill him now because I don't want to take hull damage, but I have to get stuff repaired. Ah, oh, whatever. You know what? Destroy my sensors. See if I care. I will kill you, though. I will destroy your life. Oh, my God. Whatever. Keep the glaive beam online. I don't care. Damage us with the beam. We can't dodge it anyways. Kill this guy, please. Thank you. Cloak. 60%. Thank you. Oh, this is why we need... Oh, I, I moved the Zoltan out of the, out of the uh, cloaking room, so now they're going to be able to fire their beam again. Don't hit my weapons. They didn't hit the weapons. Okay, okay, okay. My god, this is frustrating. <laughs> I hate this ship, but I love it at the same time because the clave beam is awesome. And the click clack of wrenching. Oh man, we've gotten so many repairs already. I don't know what it is about this ship, but they always want to fire on your weapons. They love your weapons room. To be fair, that's the correct option. Fire on our weapons, keep our weapons down, it's the only way we do damage, of course. But it's still frustrating to be a part of. Like, they're playing, they're playing like a, a player. Hit the weapons, keep them down. Ugh. Okay. This is much better. This is much better. We can take their weapons totally offline. We can dodge their shots with a 80% dodge chance. It's an Artemis. Yeah, it's an Artemis plus a basic laser. Oh, thank God. Again, going after the weapons, but at least we dodged it this time. If it hit, started a fire, and breached, I would have called foul. And as long as we get scrap, we should have enough for the cloak. Yes. Okay, beams are no longer a problem. We can we can deal with beams now because we can cloak out of them. Or not cloak out of them, but cloak and then fire our beam first. I will cut the ship out. Usually get a lot of scrap from that, and you know, that's that's enough scrap that I'm happy. You know what? I'm not even gonna get the reactor upgrade. I'm gonna save scrap and go to the store. ASAP. I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna get into combat. They have a drone control system. I will intervene. They do have a beam drone, but as long as I'm paying attention. I can cloak when it looks like it's going to fire on the weapon system. Like right now, it sucks that I have to actually spend the cloak right now, but it looks like the beam will fire on the weapon system. 
Yeah, it could. We gotta play it safe. That also looks like it could hit, but we're cloaked, so it's 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 fine. We will have, you know, like six or seven seconds after we come out of cloak where we will not be able to fire. And if the beam hits our, we our weapons room in that time, this is fine. It's gonna hit this empty room probably. Not the empty room I was thinking, but it's good. Glade beam, yes! I'll take it, I will take it. And we got a lot of scrap out of it too, lovely. Let's get the O2 levels back. I. I have to use the oxygen power in order to power everything, and I don't want to spend scrap upgrading my reactor because I want to get the first bar of shields. You know, this is the third run we've tried. We've got to make it to Sector 2 with shields, pretty much, in order to live. So I'm going to spend some time, get the O2 powered up, and we'll go from there. Distress, empty beacons, exit. Let's do it. Giant alien spiders are no joke. They are no joke, but unfortunately I can't. If I had a, a clone facility, I could do it, but I can't do it right now. And it looks like we will not be getting nearly enough crew members, but that's okay. It's okay. They're gonna board us. Annoying, we can probably deal with it. Let's open these doors up. Open these doors up, turn off the oxygen, get the uh, cloak ready to go. Might as well keep the uh, engines powered up for a split second now I think this is a Artemis again kind of sucks let's hit him in the Otis system I want him to, to beam off of my ship so I'm not gonna attack their teleporter at all oh good miss good miss stop attacking my weapon system you jerk holes we will deoxygenate the room he'll leave it He's, he won't destroy the system at all he's actually going towards the med bay Oh, lovely. Lovely. I can kill him in the med bay if I need to later, if he doesn't leave my ship. Okay. Do we accept the Mantis? I think we do. We accepted a lot of crew members on the last run, and it didn't do us, do us any good. I mean, the Zoltan obviously did, but the other crew members, you know, maybe Scrap would have been a better option. I like the idea of taking a crew member now because it means we have four. It means we have an extra crew member who can deal with invaders or man the door room. I will accept this Mantis. I'm probably not going to accept any future future crew members. I'm probably not going to. I could, but probably not. Uh, we need to get the O2 powered up. Might as well get him healed up because I walked him through a room with low oxygen. Okay, we're good. We're good. It means we don't get any scrap from this encounter, but that's okay. Again, a Mantis is a pretty expensive piece of uh, equipment. <laughs> to pick up at a store, so getting it for free is okay. And you know what? I love this encounter, Defense Drone Mark I. If I can get a drone control system, I would love to get this online. We don't necessarily need the missile defense, but we can get, you know, anti-drones, which might help us out here. But, uh, you know, worst case scenario, it's 25 free scrap. So that was a 32, 33 scrap encounter. It's pretty good. Rock Mantis. Mantis means boarding. Rock means cloaking, which is bad, and resisting, which is bad. I would much rather have Mantis. It means we will have to go through two nebulas? Let's go to Rock. <laughs> we'll probably have to deal with cloaking and resisting, but I don't want to deal with two nebulas in the future. Nebulas are dumb. Okay. No cloak. Do have a lot of lasers. 10 seconds, 12 seconds, I do believe. I think we can kill them. At the very least, we can take their weapons completely offline, so I don't mind, you know, taking the time for this. Yeah, this hits five rooms. I think we can only hit five rooms, so let's, let's, you know, align it like so. Hit the shields before we hit the weapon system. That's the most important thing. Good, they did fire all the weapons at the same time. Let's cloak. Hopefully we can dodge with a 75% chance, or hopefully we just don't get hit in the weapons room. This is fine. We did get hit in the cloaking, but since they don't have a beam, it really doesn't matter that we are, we are not gonna have cloaking for a second. This is fine. In fact, I can just send my Zoltan over there to help depower the engines. 
and they're dead. 19 scrap. We're getting there. We're getting there. Pilot's got to get healed up. Might as well do that now. You know, we don't get any prize for keeping our crew at low health. You done? Are all the doors finished opening? Uh, this is this is fantastic. We can go to a store in a couple of jumps. We go here, 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 store. Or even here, here, store, and then we just continue forward. This is how we get our, sh our shields. If we don't get the shields here, we're probably dead. I will buy a little bit of fuel. It's slightly cheaper than buying it at the store. Close to a sun. But there's, and there's no combat. Oh, we can't afford the shields. I might have to double back to the store. I will double back to the store if I have to. Drone recovery arm is fantastic for the drone control system. But we would need something that actually defends us against lasers, like a defense drone Mark II. We don't have it. Shields are 125. We're going to sell the defense drone. We don't have enough to sell the long-range scanner, so we're not going to. We will backtrack if we have to. What is this? Asteroid field? Hell no. Asteroid field? Hell no. So I think we jump here, distress, store, and then maybe asteroids? Let's go to distress beacon first. If I can get 25 scrap from this beacon, I can double back to the store. Eight scrap. Ah, da, 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 da. If I can get 12 scrap here. You know, there's another thing. Ooh, a mine. Chewing through our hole. We get 16 scrap. Okay, we're going to go to the store. We're going to buy the shields. I will have to sell long-range scanners, but here's the thing. I don't need long-range scanners. I've gotten the achievement. If we visit an asteroid field, you know, what does it matter to us? I, I know where the asteroid fields are. In fact, let's look at the sector. There's an asteroid field here, here, and a sun here. So if I go here... Actually, I just might want to go through the asteroid field go up to the quest beacon in the exit. So we're going to go through the asteroid field. It sucks, but we have to basically go through an asteroid field regardless of our path. So we're going to jump. I guess it could have gone up to this store. I should have gone up to this store. I didn't see that there was a store here. That would have been better because I think all stores are guaranteed to have shields if you don't have shields. So that's my bad. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay because we will still be able to do something at this next beacon, you know? Even though it is an asteroid field. We have shields, so the asteroids are not that much of a problem anymore. I can... Well, this sucks. I can cloak when I need to. And when we're cloaked, we don't need shields, even though it might be good to have. Okay. Okay, engines. We don't need engines. I think I'm going to send my engine personnel into the cloaking room and keep them there. That gives me, me one power for the cloak. Oxygen gives me, gives me one power for the cloak. And then depower the shields and then I can move the Zoltan out of the cloaking room, put him in the shield room when the cloak goes offline, and that's our cloak power, our shield power. Okay. That means we, we, we're not going to have any dodge chance. That's fine. Oh, it means we're also boarded by another rock man. All of a sudden, this got scary. We're going to fight this rock man. It's, it's, I mean, we have to. Good God, this is scary. Um, we have to fight these Rockmen, too. I, I gotta... Oh, da, 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 da. Okay. First off, Glaive Beam. You're firing like so. You will hit the shields before you hit the weapons. We're gonna be cloaking in a second. That's important. In fact... Who cares about the uh, lower charge time on our weapons? We don't need it. 
we're gonna cloak through the weapons anyways. So let's all attack this rock man. I don't want the Zoltan to get hit, so we're gonna move these crew around. Their laser's gonna fire. There it goes. So we depower the shields. We power up. Oxygen. We cloak. This gives us a 60% chance of dodging these shots. We don't have a pilot. <sighs> Whatever. Yes! Okay, we took one damage from the doors. Don't care. They're walking into the weapons room. I care a little bit. I care quite a bit. Oh my god, I can't actually let him destroy this. The 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 weapons room. I gotta I gotta send my crew in there. Okay, we can kill one rock man. My crew are at, have a lot of health. I think we might be able to do this. It's gonna be extremely close, but we might be able to do this. Glade beam's ready to go. Okay, we got hit by an asteroid. We knew that was gonna happen at some point. Glade beam fires. Now Zoltan's got to get into the shield room because he's half of the shield power. We move power from oxygen, put it in shields, get the shields online. Now we have shields. We theoretically won't get hit by any more asteroids. I do need to get someone... In fact, we, let's depower the freaking uh, weapon now. We don't need it. Let's get someone into the door room once we kill these rockmen. We gotta put out the fires. Fires have got to get put out. Mantis, go get healed up. In fact, Zoltan get healed up as well. We don't need dodge chance. Keep the power low, so we have power. Put out the fire. Five, four, three, two. Zoltan, get in here and put out the fire. Fire's put out. Human, get into the med bay. Don't die. Doors are coming back. Once the doors get, get uh, back online, we can put out these fires. Open all doors except for these ones and this one. Depower the O2. Vent this ship. We're gonna live, we're gonna live. Our crew is gonna live. Got hit for one more point of damage in the cloak. That's fine. Shields are online. Asteroid shouldn't hit us, I don't think. I think we'll be fine. Okay, O2's online, doors are closed. Ooh, okay, okay, we made it. We made it. We made it. That was that was extremely close. I think we I think we managed it properly. You know, moving the Zoltan from the cloak into the shield room to provide the power pretty much saved us from, you know, the asteroids from the fires. Everyone go back to your rooms. Uh, Mantis might as well man the shield room. If I need him to, you know, fight invader, I can go have him fight an invader. Uh, we do need more reactor power. That much is obvious. But... We can't upgrade the ship here because it's an asteroid field. I think I can get to the quest and then the exit beacon. I will definitely aid the civilian ship, and this should be a much, much easier encounter. The only question is, do I want to depower my shields for it? I think the answer is yes, and I think how we're going to do this is, I might depower my glaive beam ever so slightly to make this happen. But I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's see what happens. Two weapons firing. Power up the cloak to five seconds? Is that enough? If I depower the glaive beam, it'll depower pretty much all the way. But I can get a 15 second charge time. Let's try this. Let's try this. First shot missed. I don't, I don't know the point of that. Okay, second shot missed. I, I'm, I'm just thinking like, how do I micro my power so that I still have shields when their lasers come in, and then as soon as my shields get hit, I turn, take the power from that, put it back into the glaive beam, and it gives us a better chance of getting out of the combat without taking damage. But 
you know, by the time I do that, my glade beam loses all of its power. So how do we, how do we, how do we do that? How do we do that? How do that is the question. Hit him in pie. Hit him in pie. Yeah, just hit him like this. This will take their weapon offline, and we can get the shields back online in time before they fire again. So let's just knock out their weapons. I think we can get our shields back online. Yeah, we can. It's going to take a couple of shots, but their, their ship is pretty well structured where I can't get too many hits in. I, I guess I could hit him like this, but that might not have killed them. In fact, I don't think it would have. Six damage. Seven, eight... Nine, ten. I think this would have killed him if I, if I started on the shield room and then hit these three rooms because it would have done an additional one, two, three, four, five points of damage. Yeah, so this would have killed him in one shot. So I, I should have I should have just done that instead. But whatever, we're fine. We're okay. There's a reason why I got this shield upgraded so we can actually survive these encounters for a little bit longer. We don't have to destroy them in one shot. Ooh, and we get a heavy ion weapon. It sucks that it's two power. I would pref much, much prefer the ion blast mark one because all this thing does is take down one bar of shields. That's all I need it to do. So why not just have a one bar power version? I mean, this is nice because if... Actually, it's not nice at all. It's kind of garbage. Ion blast mark two would be fantastic, but you know. All right, 50 scrap. What do we get? Med bay and reactor. Reactor, now we can actually keep the shields online, I believe. And the medbay upgrade means that I can get crew members and not lose crew members from special blue encounters and such. Ah, uh, screw you, beam! I have shields! Missile, I will dodge. I'm going to dodge it by moving the Zoltan because I need the power. Actually... Do I? You know what? This is this is fine. No, I want the dodge chance. I want I want the dodge chance, the extra 15%, and I want a cloak. If I cloak for 10 seconds, we will be able to fire, but I don't need shields right now. I don't need shields temporarily because all I have to worry about is the beam. We're gonna be cloaked. Why not just have the power dump it into the cloak temporarily? We cloak. We're not going to have shields, but that's fine. We're not dodging lasers, we're dodging a missile. And now that the missile missed, we let everything sit for a minute. And then in a moment, I'm going to move the Zoltan in here to depower purposefully the cloak. And as a result, steal power away from the cloak to get the shields back online. So that the shields come online before the uh, fire beam fires again. Good practice. It technically didn't matter because, you know, we cloaked for long enough, but that was really good practice for the future. I know, you know, a little bit better, a little bit uh, more intimately what we need to do in order to, you know, min-max to the max. Reactor for 24 scrap. That's actually awful. That's more expensive than a reactor upgrade is right now, so I don't know why I would ever choose that option. I don't think there's a way to get, like, a blue option there either. Like, mind control, make a better deal. Or, you know, something. Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? We don't have the long-range scanners anymore. I had to sell it. That's fine. I guess we just go down to the nebulas? I don't like the idea of going to the nebulas, but... Oh, I, I really don't like this. Oh, God, no. On the bright side, we can cloak... And the cloak should do enough for us. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? F this game sometimes. Okay, get it. Everyone get in here. I cloaked, so just... Except for you, because you're going to depower the room when you walk through. Everyone get in there. Get the freaking glaive beam online. Because I'm a freaking idiot. Like usual. Their weapons are online. Oh, this... I hope I don't just die on this encounter because of, I'm an idiot. We very, what, very well might. Hopefully not. Cloak is lasting long enough. I need to steal power. So let's do that. Steal power, put it into the shield room. 
Still have a dodge chance. <sighs> like, I guess I should have had my crew back in their rooms, but I think we're just gonna die here. All because I didn't cloak when that laser came in. We're gonna die because I did not cloak when the laser came in. Everyone go back to your rooms. Get your asses back to where you belong. As long as our weapons stay online, we're fine. If our weapons go down wherever, we're screwed. Shields need to get repaired, but everyone's busy with dodging. The beam's gonna eat us up. Now we have no shields, and now we have no weapons. We're dead. All right, well... Fuck. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna try something different next time. Next time, I'm going to not get the cloak, because... I do think it's the best thing that you can do is to get that third level cloak up and not have to worry about mini beams while you get more scrap and while you kill ships. But maybe maybe getting that third level of cloak is the wrong move. Maybe it puts your power too thin across your ship, spreads your power too thin, you can't actually get what you want powered up. Maybe saving that 50 scrap so that you can get the shields faster is the way to go. Yeah, 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 I'll, I'll try that next time. Next time, let's do this ship, let's play the uh, Stealth Cruiser Type B, and let's not get the third bar of Cloak up first. Let's save all of our scrap, every penny, and get the shields up as fast as we can. If we sell the Long Range Scanners, we only need 110 before we go to a store, and that's not, that's not, not doable, but it's better than, you know, the 160 we would need if we're spending scrap into the cloak. So let's try that next time. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you had fun with this episode of FTL. Like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for some more FTL content in the future and other stuff. And I hope to see you here again for the next run.